All right, hello guys. I just wanted to talk about this little kit I bought. Um, it's another eBay jobby, and the description uh, name for this is the Human Sensor Module Pyroelectric Infrared PIR DIY Kit. Um, this is quite expensive, actually. This is um, three pounds eighty-eight uh, for this, and what it does. I need to Cut my nails, and what it does is, um, is it will take a four to five, four point five to five volt input to work the circuit, and when uh, it senses, it says human because it, it works off heat rather than just movement, as a lot of the old systems were just just movement, you know. Uh, so if a, a tree was blowing a branch around a bit, it would pick up and start the record or trigger an alarm where these ones are um, it, it works out the, uh, the heat so I figured it'd be quite good um, I'm gonna connect it onto another little circuit uh, possibly to have a, um, a a light downstairs from me can't believe I turn my fingers off um, so yeah so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it together and, uh, and see if it works. So, take a little peek inside. Now, I'm not a, I'm not a great reviewer or anything like that. I'm just uh, an enthusiast in electronics. Found myself with a bit of time, and thought, oh, what can I do? I can get my head into something and and see what we can do with it. Oh, let's make sure we got all the. There's quite a few pieces there. But I know this. I'm going to be careful where I put my fingers because I understand that these actual sensor modules, something that looks see it's broken or not, and it doesn't appear to be. That's good. I understand these little sensor modules are quite sensitive to oils. But there it is. That's uh, that's the actual sensor, and we don't want to touch it because we don't want to leave any grease or oils from my skin on it. Uh, but everything else, of course, is, is perfectly fine. So what we got? We got some little pots here. Um, for adjustments I'm not quite sure what the value of those are it says uh, 105 so 105 it's one over five zeros that's uh, is that one meg hmm possibly yeah, what we got here s80 50 um, not quite sure what that is, some sort of little transistor, maybe a regulator, I could look it up. Okay, uh, 16 volt, 100 mic cap, 25 volt, 22 mic cap. We got a um, BISS0001 um, 16 pin IC and the socket Show my headers the relay this is a 5 volt activated relay to switch 250 volts up to 3 amp or you can actually switch um, that's AC 250 volt or 3 amp 30 volt DC hmm oh so that's quite good then so that's uh, AC or DC only 3 amp on the DC though so not a great thing there and just a little a little collection of uh, little ceramic capacitors and, and whatnot. so I think I'm probably going to go into full steam ahead Put this together. I'm just wondering how how this board goes. I can't see anything, obviously. Uh, if 
very obvious for how it goes, but I can see quite quickly how this main main part is going to go together. And hopefully this is not going to take too long. Of course, that won't be the first thing I put on. I'm going to put all the little all the little tiny bits on first, um, so we're not working in our in our own way. <coughs> Um, and the actual uh, oh, the last so so I'm going to speed this up I'm going to um, very very well laid out board I should expect to find with a lot of these now that come through um, you don't really need any great um, uh, you know because it says it says uh, 1.8k uh, sorry 18k 10k 47k 18k 18k so everything's on there so let's know everything that you got to put on to put onto here um, variable resistors one and two yeah. um, I should sort of uh, <coughs> I should probably carry on with the um, it says suit type PYM dash one not quite sure what that means but the working voltage 4 to 5 4.5 to 5 volts it's got a standby current of 65 microamps a working current of 40 milliamps the load power less than or equal to 300 watts its blocking time is two and a half two and a half seconds to 300 seconds 300 seconds That's five minutes isn't it uh, Trigger L not repeatable. Trigger H a repeatable triggered. Not quite sure what that means, but sensing range cone angle is less than 120 degrees. Can be adjusted within five meters. Working temperature minus 15 C to plus 70 C. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it. it just tells you the, the size of the board, which is uh, 27 by 27 millimeters even though that doesn't actually uh, the center size 27 by 27 millimeters blah blah and uh, and this control PCB is uh, 40 by 60 Oops. Um, there's just one thing that's worth noting on this is uh, in case I forget to say none of the um, None of these are uh, none of these are um, marked, so you're going to need a meter, or unless you can read the color codes uh, to know what they are, you will need a meter. Yeah. So let's put it together. Okay, it looks like these babies, they go underneath here. So this can be, you know, fitted to something. So let's, uh, well, let's just, um, let's just solder this on first. And then we'll do that. Now the thing about using a new reel of solder is sometimes, Go on top of there for a bit more support. I don't know if it's supposed to or not. Doesn't feel like it wants to, so let's just sort it the way it is. Ah, it's not right, isn't it? Uh, try and stand this up to solder it. Oh, it stands up by itself, doesn't it? Okay. 
the way I'm doing the soldering now is um, I've got two two sides. So I'm gonna have to run this through there. When you've got them bridged over like that, the easiest way to do it I found is literally just get the fattest bit of soldering iron in and just run it through, pull it back and it collects on there and takes it away from there. Mm -hmm. So apart from putting this little baby on, and I'm not sure if there's a natural way to fit this. I'm going to go on what looks to be those two go together and that doesn't because on the back of here you've got two little black dots I don't know if you can see those at all yep and then you've got two sort of next to each other here and then the one coming off so I'm going to assume that that's how that goes on now I'm probably wrong to assume this if I were to do it the other way it wouldn't it doesn't seem like it would work so I'm going to put that on like that I'm being very careful not to touch the front and I'm just going to do a quick check I don't see the point in solving it because I can just quick check uh, I have what I need to do that here Press the right little button. Ah, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm just trying to see if it actually. No, I can't actually see any type of uh, instruction for doing that so well here the sensor then is like sideways on the front here um, but I'm not touching the front of it I'm not touching the lens part of it I'm just touching around the outsides but if I were to put it any other way it just wouldn't I mean if I put those like that, that seems to be the only way it can go. Yeah, it's got to be that way. That seems to be the only way it can go, the way those legs are set. And it just stands the reason those two up. It's almost indicated that that's the way. So I'm going to take the chance on that. Because um, it just doesn't seem like it goes the other way. And I'm going to take a chance so I can just balance that like that. Just, uh, just drop a blob of solder on it. It's not that easy to solve that. Let's just make sure that's nice and flat. Slightly off. I'm going to try and push it flat without getting any oils on it. Okay, that looks like it's in flat, so we can just solder that now. And uh, put those bits in. I wouldn't leave your soldering iron too long on these pads on this. Um, especially if you've got it really hot. No. There's some awful, awful, awful stuff coming off my solder. I don't know if you can see that. I think it's because when you get a new reel, uh, they, they, they seem to put tape around it. Yeah, which is a bit backwards really, because that leaves bits of tape all over your solder and you end up, you know, melting the glue uh, and such that's on the tape while you're doing your soldering, which is something I will comment to the, um, I can't tell what language that is, but it's it's got more continents than it has vowel. Continent, <laughs> consonant, consonant, consonant. 
I hope I've said that right now. Mm. But it seems to have a lot more of those than it does have Val. Val, so let's pull it off and hope that this going between these pins is not going to be conductive. So we can use a. I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol in here. And uh, hope that doesn't cause any problems. But the last thing we want is a conduction between those. A nice clean off with some alcohol. Well, uh, will certainly help prevent that. So, okay. We seem to have just a couple of bits on the lens. I'm just brushing my fingers across the bristles of the brush, of the toothbrush, and I'm going to see if I can just wipe those off without um, Yeah, no, I mean, I've probably damaged it now. Be just my luck. Just wipe away the grime there. We can put this on just so we can get that front part being protected. I presume that's not going to go in that way then. I'll have to take that back out of there and do it sideways. Okay, you're going to be quite gentle with these because you don't want to break, you don't want to break that so so that looks like that's how it's supposed to be um, I've tinned a bit thicker these lines going here which go from the relay to the uh, the, uh, the switchable output um, I just put these on I'll speed this process up There we go. That's that bill. Of course, the proof is in the pudding. Does it actually work? I'm sure the kit works. I should say, have I actually built it correctly so it will work? Now we need to apply five volts here, and then put a load on here, and then play around with this here. So. I'm quite disappointed with myself because I did have a load um, but then I gave it its own plug <laughs> uh, so I need to find something else to put on this that doesn't draw more than 300 watts okay I can find something and I will uh, I shall come back and we will see if that works Okay, I found something that's a little bit offish. I've just been cutting garlic and stuff, so if you see things in my hand, it's because I'm making my food. Um, one is that this actual um, 
this fitting socket, you've got to put it in backwards. For in order for this to fit into it, this has to go in backwards, um, which is in contrary to the image shown on the website uh, when you buy this on the actual uh, on the actual picture. And there's another thing I notice as well. It looks like there's a light dependent resistor. It's supposed to go in that those holes there. Uh, this is not supplied, it is not in the image, and it is not detailed in the description at all of being part of this circuit. But what I will do is I'm going to get this running um, as it is, and then I'm going to put a light dependent resistor in there, and see if we have any control um, over the light situation so whether it only operates at night time or it operates during the day but we're going to figure that out we're going to figure that out because as you can see there look the pads are there clearly for it um, I can't see anywhere else um, it goes to the chip via the resistors um, and yeah and also via this so I do have a feeling that if we put one in there we might get a little bit of extra functionality out of this baby but first of all let's just chuck some five uh, some five volts onto it and see if we just get the relay triggering now I've taken apart my light which I did fit with a uh, <coughs> and so what we've got is this connection here and I'm going to use these two wires uh, in order to connect this thing into bomb and hopefully it will trigger the light that I have here now it's a bit tight we're a bit tight for the wire I'll have to pull it through the back of my bench um, this was a lot better taped up believe me it was quite safe right so let's just drop <coughs> my bolts into that Okay, well that little lights come on, um, and I did hear the relay click. Now, whether the relay's just clicked on because uh, it doesn't know what else to do, I don't know. Let's get a little screwdriver and play with these. If I turn that all the way down. Or at least it gives the impression to be all the way down. I want to hear the relay click. I'll turn it back off again. There we go. So now the relay clicks back off again. The little light is not on. And if I put my hand. Oh, that was quite nice. I didn't quite get anywhere near it. Um, I was out you know, quite a way out here, really. And so that is actually switching. Um, I've set it down to the minimal. I'm going to try and just come in across the top of it now. And you can see my finger. Ah, so um, I'm I'm over the top of it, and that's that's picking up quite good. That is picking up quite well. And now we want it to switch this lamp on and off. So I'm just going to turn that off just while I uh, connect this and pull that out of there. Flip my lights on. Watch your eyes. and right so we got a normally closed on and common so i would think then that we want i put something in there that will indicate to me when i've actually got a circuit across that and it won't blow anything up he says so if i put my continuity test on it I said somebody stopped me if I'm doing this wrong, but really that's not going to be possible, is it? So if I just chuck that in there, chuck that in there, and all I want is a little bit of continuity if this circuit works um, as I think it should. So I flip that on, and 
Well, we've not got any continuity, so. Don't get any continuity like that. Okay, sorry about the god awful noise. Hopefully that will go off as soon as that circuit goes off. Just, yes. So, that's where we want to be then, isn't it? Yep. So we can sh shut that off. Now we know where we want to plug our, uh, our vias into. So I'm just going to chuck a wire in there. Let me open this up first. I'll be able to turn that off because it's just switching on and off, on and off. Because all it is is technically it's just a switch, isn't it? Just an electronic switch. So, which is fantastic because I will use this in here. Um, I will actually use it for this lamp. I'll put it onto its its extended time, five minutes, um, or you know somewhere between four seconds or whatever it is and five minutes, and see how I can live with this in it. So when I do leave the room, I know it's just a gimmick because really I've got a, a two and a half watt bulb in this and it's not really going to make much of a difference to my bill I just want to play around with it so that's on this is on and I'm just going to let it switch off now I'm going to, I'm going to plug the plug in and and switch the um, and switch that one well that lamp's on so that's gone off now I'm going to plug the plug in you ready for the big bang okay so that light's on that's the lamp shining now and now it's gone off beautiful there's no smoke there's no sparks there's me move that's what made that happen um, and I quite like that so I wonder how far it actually works from because I need it about this far uh, I suppose the distance is a uh, Okay, I mean that's a, that's a small load. It says up to 300 watts, and as I say, I haven't actually got a. Uh, we don't seem to be registering that that easy from the front. So now I must mind that this is live now, 240 volts. I'm just going to switch that off there. Of course, nothing's going to happen, but I am still in. You know, I've still got. Uh, Right, so we got min max on the time, and we got min max. I believe that will be sensitivity. So that's too big to, to be turning. That would be nice to have an insulated screwdriver. I need to buy myself a little set of screwdrivers because I don't really have the type of thing. What I do have is one of these, whether that's going to be any good or not. So I'm going to keep the, the time down just for a minute. And I'm going to see if we can adjust this. So the min there, I'm not sure whether that's for how sensitive this is going to be. I'm going to switch it back on again. We'll see if everything's going to come on straight away. That's uh, it's not the greatest of light. I, I understand the LED lights. Okay, so the sensitivity now of this thing is so low um, that we're not actually getting anything out of it. Now, I think that's possible. Oh, okay, we do, but it, it seems to be sensitive to what's going above it. Well, even though that's not really doing a great deal, is it? Okay. So if I turn that back down again, to max sensitivity I believe this is, but yeah, so if you got this far guys, uh, thank you very much for watching, and this seems to be another, another winner off eBay. <laughs>